um, good evening and thanks very much for giving us the opportunity to speak with you this evening. This is about uh, and this is about uh, the conditions at trial of our sister Gilen. Um, there are three things that we have asked the Attorney General Merrick Garland to intervene on today urgently. And they're very, very simple things, and we really shouldn't have to ask for them. And the first is that he stops the abuse of the four-point restraints. These are shackles that bind her wrists to her waist and her feet to her waist. And she is shackled from the moment that she leaves uh, the Metropolitan Detention Center until she arrives in the pending cell here in the courthouse, and the reverse when she goes back to the detention center in the evening and she's obliged to walk up and down stairs in the shackles and they hurt her, right? She'd been bruised, she's even bled. And you really have to ask yourself in 2021, what on earth are they doing shackling a 59 year old woman in this way every day when she represents absolutely no threat to the community that was agreed by the judge and by the prosecution in the various bail hearings. The second thing that we've asked for is that she receive food. It's a pretty basic thing that we all need every day. She's on trial for her life and she received no food on the first day. She receives a boiled egg. She is lucky if it is not moldy. She receives a couple of pieces of bread, maybe a craft slice and a banana or an apple. And that is literally everything from 6.30 in the morning 7.30 at night when she gets back to the detention center. And it is simply inadequate sustenance. And so we don't understand how it is possible that everybody washes their hands of that problem. The judge says it's not her problem, even though it's happening in her courtroom. The marshal service say it's not their problem. They blame the Bureau of Prisons. The Bureau of Prisons says it's not their problem because she's off site. So the only person who can make a difference and who is responsible for everything here is Merrick Garland, the Attorney General, because the Department of Justice is responsible for the Marshal Service, it's responsible for the Bureau of Prisons, and it's responsible for the fair administration of justice. That's what it's about. And so we've simply asked him to organize that the Bureau of Prisons gives her a food parcel every day with something nutritious and not a moldy boiled egg. And we don't, see, we don't see why that even has to be asked for. And the third thing that we've, we've requested is that she be allowed access to counsel when the court has risen. Right? So what happens at the moment is at the end of the day, she is whisked off back to the pending cell, back to the vehicle, back in shackles, driven to the detention center. And sometimes she waits 90 minutes in shackles before she gets back in to the facility. And what we're asking for is 30 minutes every day when she can speak to counsel when the jury are not present. It's a pretty, again, a pretty basic right of being able to consult outside of the actual court sitting. So those are the three things that we've asked for. The buck stops with Merrick Garland. Right? He has to make uh, very simple decisions to sort this mess out. Our sister has been in pre-trial detention for 522 days. She is in the care of the Department of Justice, if that isn't uh, a, a, an abuse of that word. And so what we're asking for is for them to live up to the duty of care they owe an innocent person who is presumed innocent until a verdict comes in. And we would ask that he intervene right away to sort this mess out. Thank you very much. Is she being treated differently to other women in her situation? I don't know about being treated differently to other women. All we can talk about are the conditions that she's uh, going through right now. Right. And they're simply wrong. Right. So has she been persecuted? I don't know whether it's a persecution, but what I would say is that when we have tried to bring this problem or these problems to the attention of the judge or the marshal service or the Bureau of Prisons, they wash their hands. So ultimately, the only people that can help are you guys, because it's simply unacceptable.
you wouldn't want it to happen to your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, or any friend of yours. And, and what we're saying is, you know, enough is enough. This has got to stop.